Pugilism Company. Read BBS, BBS. Black Burp Sugar. So, uh, we officially have the unofficial <laughs> announcement of Arrow the Truth Spence Jr. versus Sean Showtime Porter. Again, it's the official, unofficial announcement. So, uh, there's no no official date. There's no venue. But we're thinking September, October-ish. Barclays Center-ish. Brooklyn-ish. That's kind of the way it's going. And they're talking pay-per-view. Uh, before we swan dive all up into that, please uh, subscribe. Need you to comment for sure. Comment on this one as all others, but comment on this one because this is one of those fights we've been all marinating on and meditating on for a couple years now. So how do you see it playing out? Is it too late is it right on time? Is it, you know, who does it favor more? Give me your thoughts on all of that type of stuff. Uh, sharing is caring. Share this. Share this. And as always, love tap and or bitch slap this like button for your boy. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, Spence versus Porter, man. Pay-per-view. And, you know, initial thought is like, eh. I don't know. I, I've done a I've done a video or podcast speaking on the fact that it's like uh okay, EJ, yeah, you're marketable. And yeah, you and Mikey, y'all got together and you were both marketable in the fight. Like, you know, they did three hundred and sixty ish, four hundred thousand ish pay per view buys. And while Spence critics will say, oh, well, you know, Mikey's a pound-for-pound pound Mexican fighter and they fought in Dallas, Texas, and da-da-da-da-da. No, no. Spence has to get credit for that also. This was Mikey's first pay-per-view just like it was Spence's first pay-per-view. So we can't take credit away in any way, in any regard, in that particular realm. Uh, however, before that, I do recall, you know, Oh, when when Sean Porter was mentioned as a pay per view option, like, hey, Sean Porter couldn't sell out a family dinner, and that's true. It's true, and that's gonna be the case. And just me personally, yeah, I would I would have rather prefer this be on Fox, just because I think this fight could get minimum minimum two point five. Uh, million views, peak views, up to four million peak views. Like I, I saw this being possibly other than the fight that EJ had uh, following against Bundu when he was following the U.S. men's national team. I believe it was uh, the 2016 Olympics or whatever. But whenever it was, I think EJ versus Sean Porter could have reached. Not quite those numbers, but just below that. Like about the 2.5 to 4 million ranks. Like that's legit, dude. Like that's legit. But now we'll never know. <clears throat> and I get it. I mean, I'm not the one in there fighting. I'm not taking the punches. So it's hard. it would be hard for me to get the payday I got against Mikey and then come back and not get anywhere near that. Like, uh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. We, we, we got to stay closer to this new money I just got. With that being said, it's like, so you got Pac Thurman coming up, uh, Wilder Ortiz 2 in September, Mikey versus Danny. Uh, they're talking about that being pay-per-view. Are we being oversaturated with pay-per-views? I'm kind of starting to think that we are, man. Like, it's like, ugh. and And, again, EJ versus Sean. With all of those other fights being on pay-per-view, does that one really need to be on pay-per-view as well? And with that said, all the talk of Al Heyman selling PBC to Dana White, the uh, figurehead of UFC. He's not the owner of UFC. That's the Fertitas. 
But Dana White, he's like the 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 face. He's the figurehead of it. So it's like, wow. I mean, are you really giving it up to a UFC dude? Is this like a mad dash to cash out type thing with all these pay per views coming up on us suddenly? You know, I I don't really know, man. I don't really know. We're in a weird period right now. I don't know who to trust in terms of promotion advisors. A side, B side is is it's a it's a weird, <laughs> and I'm being playful when I say that. But still, it, it's you never know who's gonna do what. Basically, keep your head on a swivel. Keep your head on a swivel. That's what I'm saying. And before I close the whole 45, 45, 10 thing that Bob Brown was talking about, like, come on, dude. Right off the top, when you're negotiating and you come with that type of deal, 45, 45, 10. So you're already, you're already hamstringing your fighter at that point. So you're willing to go, hey, we both get 45% and the winner gets 10. No. If you're willing to do that, go ahead and give me that extra 10% and just fight me anyway. That's all I'm saying. Uh, anyways, from the homes of the three-piece combos, pugilism company, read BBS, BBS. Black Burt Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.